Hey guys, uh, so we're about one week post fight, um, just catching up with the uh, big boss Steve Della. Um, we're going to have a bit of a chat about, uh, about what he thought, Steve. Well, the fight pretty much went the way we thought it would have been. Um, we knew he was going to be a tough guy up early. You know, like he, uh, he'd been down in the camp where he's got exceptional sparring down there with Jeff Horn, uh, Nathan Webber, uh, Dennis Hogan. Geez, you could just go on and forever and a day on all the good welterweights he's had to spar with, you know. Um, fight went pretty much the plan when you'd be tough up early, as I've just said. You stuck to the game plan. Yeah. Work that jab. Geez, you worked that jab that much that your hand got bloody swollen. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we um, uh, got caught with a couple of shots early on. He came out, came out pretty hard, came out throwing lots of shots, and we sort of had a plan that we'd, we'd, we'd box to start off and we'd. we'd we start slowly and, and increase increase the pressure every round, and I think that's what we did. And as the fight went on, we sort of got to a point where he wasn't going to keep up anymore. And yeah, well, that was pretty much the first three rounds. You know, like it, 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 he got them, and we pretty much knew that. Yeah, he, he came on strong first up. He always does every fight that I've seen him in. He comes on strong, and then he tends to fade a bit. You know, um, he won the first three rounds, no problem at all. The fourth round, a draw, even giving that one. And then you just pulled away from there on, on every round, and uh, we're really happy that you stuck to the plan, showed people how good a straight left is, followed by right, followed by all the punches coming off that. You know, great discipline, and uh, that's what's needed in a fight a bit. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we've been, we spent a lot of time uh, in this camp working on just my, my straight punches and, and my feet and my balance and how it's all been going. And I feel that it, it definitely paid off on fight night. I felt like I wasn't. I wasn't falling over my punches as much and um, you know, I was able to chase him up a bit more because my feet were in the right position. All the yeah, time. well that worked, worked well for you, especially when he started, once you worked out the distance and that, and he was throwing those big swing in the right hands and that was, I think a couple of times there, he, he might have even fell over once if I remember. Um, yeah, a couple of times there he fell over and he was swinging in, into the bleachers there, and um, but all in all he was a good, strong, tough, hard, hard opponent and um, very worthy of the fight. You know, and uh, he comes from a very strong camp down there at uh, Glen Rushton's at Stretton, at Stretton Boxing Gym. Jesus, it's a multi-million dollar training camp down there and everything, you know, like it's, um, it's a pretty big setup. Yeah, it sure is. Not, not like our old tin shed. Oh, like the old tin shed. shed, yeah, shed. Yeah. <laughs> but we're happy to get the win. Yeah, 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 very happy with the win. I think. And the other good thing was no harm come to you or Mickey White. Yeah, that's it. White at the end of the day. Yep. Um, so it was good. Yeah, no, I was, I was recently happy with the performance. As, as always, there's, there's better to get and there's more to learn. The well, good um, thing, Ben, the good thing, you've always been improving. When you stop improving, well, that's what we're going to have with the situation. It, it's really great having Simon doing your strength and conditioning with you, working there with you, you know, like it's, it's um, like you see, he's made a lot of roads there for you. And then we've got old Johnny Burke, yeah. the old Silver Fox. Yeah. You know, like he, he's there working on a lot on your balance and things like that. Yeah. And chuck Kepler vessels in. He's the cricket old cricket player, you know, and the old sparring mate. Um, him there for doing your cut eyes, which he has done before and is able to stop things. So you're building a good team around you, man. Yeah, I feel like yeah. we've got I feel like the, the teams all really come together now and I feel like we sort of know how each other work best now and um, uh, we sort of Moving, moving in the direction as, as one team now. We've Let's got, not forget you know, Lightning Luke Melbourne. Yeah, so we've got, we've got you know, Simon doing all of my strength stuff, Lightning Luke and Johnny with, with all my boxing stuff, obviously. Big Steve's the head of the team, um, and, and then me and Cap, and I just feel like, yeah, we're all, we're all sort of working as one now and it's, moving it's in one direction good. to make things happen. And it's going to be a big year for Team Bang. It is, it's right there. Follow Ben. Bang and Benny Kite. So where are we going to go from here, Ben? Um, we're looking at you fighting again on the 27th of July here in Brisbane, down at Fortitude again. We're looking at opponents um, to see who can. You've got the AMB Australasian belt, what a prestige belt that is. You've got the WBF Australasian belts, two belts you won in one night. Um, it's pretty prestige, it's, it's a big move up. Uh, we'll have a look at some opponents and, and then we'll come back to everybody and let them know exactly what's going on. But the 27th of July at Fortitude Stadium, that's where Ben will be fighting next. So book in, get your tickets. Like last time, table sold out in one night. Front row seat was gone one night. Four rows of reserve seats gone on one night. So book your seats, get in early.
yeah, we're moving up guys, things are happening, so, so make sure you don't miss the next one. Steve's handsome. True. <laughs>